everyone so we're now back in the sims 4 i took an entire nine days off i was going through a lot of stress um, it was because i had so called head court on wednesday the may 18th of 2022 and i didn't know the uncertainty of what was going to happen in court so i had to take i had to take basically nine days away from everyone and i had to refresh everything i had to try to just not be so stressed out i had to basically go away from all social media go away from youtube and just take a breather um as of may 18th i am no longer needing to worry about the justice system in saskatoon i no longer have to worry about the defendant her name shall never be named in this video and i'll never ever have to worry about any of it ever again because as of May 18th, everything was dropped. So I am now sitting in front of my computer and trying to say what I can actually say because my, my mind is just in mush. And so those nine days, I was literally trying to throw everything in this house. So I think I did about a total of 13 videos and this house is still not done. I got a couple new stuff packs and game packs and kits for the sims 4 and i finally got my cottage living which i was so excited to actually get it and so here's me trying to build in the cottage living and i'm building a cottage i'm building something that would scream what was i was raised in how i was raised this entire home is actually my dream home this is something that i would love to live on and it's just something that I would like to still be in. So for those nine days, I went for about a couple of hours to maybe about 10, 15 minutes trying to figure out how I wanted to build this home. As of today, I finally have it set to the exact area and I really like it the way it actually sort of finished. It's not yet done and I have to go back, however, and finish it but I was about to finish the entire video when I was thinking about I really want to get a bear rug <laughs> and you know that's really something really funny or something kind of like a little bit I know it's animal f cruelty and whatever but that's something that I would be raised around because I was raised around the country I was raised around the uh, the early 90s the uh, so that's basically how my family we we used to have like stuff like that and I want to get something like that for The Sims 4. So that is what I'm going to be looking for after I'm off here. And I might have to go build one for The Sims 4, which would be actually pretty cool because if it's a bear rug, you know, you're in this, you're, you know. So I think I'm going to try to go and um, make my own CC or something like that. Try to not have it fail. I'm going to try to recreate something that would remind me of my childhood. Also, it's going to take me a couple of weeks to really overcome my depression and I might eventually build my childhood home. I don't know yet, but it's something that I was trying and I was been really, really willing to do. Um, also, today I decided that it was time for me to ask for help. Um, if you guys don't know this, back in 2013, I was in a severe car accident, which has led me to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. I can walk, but not very well. I can walk probably to and from the bathroom, and then my back will give out. And I live in a teeny tiny apartment, guys, so that's bad. And as of, I think as of fall of 2021, I was actually wheelchair bound. So as of spring 2022, I have finally decided to apply for a grant to get a mobility wheelchair, which I'm kind of really excited to get one because now I actually have the ability to go out and do things without having to ask for people. And I can start being independent once again. And that's something that I used to do when I was a child. I used to be very independent on things and I used to never ask for anybody to help me. And so when I do these videos of The Sims 4, I'm building from my heart. I'm building 
like this is the way I want my life to be. This is my this is my dream home. This is what I want to live. This is where I want to live. This is how my house, how I want my house to be. But then I'm thinking like if I build something like that, how is people going to understand that that's how I live? And you really can't. So I'm just building stuff from the memories I had as a childhood. If you guys don't know this, I've been having a, a lot of problems with my memory. And because of it, I think maybe it was from my car accident that I had years ago. And it's been leading me to not able to really remember a lot of, a lot of small details. And because of it, I had to figure out of small ways to remember certain stuff. But as of today, I am slowly trying to gain my independence and trying to get back in the swing of things of doing YouTubing and posting videos for you guys. Um, I'm sorry that I had to be away for so long, but I needed time for myself. And because of it, I needed to be able to go away from all the stress and from everyone just putting a lot of things onto my mind. Um, what was really causing me a lot of sleepless nights was because of court. And last night was actually one night that I actually had a decent 16 hour sleep. That a lot of people think like, wow, you get 16 hours, that must be nice. It's really actually very rare that I even get three hours of sleep because I have chronic problems and chronic insomnia that I do have to take a sleep sedative. Um, well, last night I took one and I didn't know how tired I was and apparently me being out all day yesterday, I ended up sleeping so soundly that I didn't even know certain people were having issues today with his foam. Tim was having foam problems like he usually has been for the past couple of days and so in the middle of the night I would roll over and I would, I would help mom or do whatever and I have a split personality and um, I think she also helped a little bit because I was just so drugged out that I just couldn't, I couldn't remember what I was doing. And, but I'm now back to doing YouTubing and I'm really excited that I'm officially back and I'm hopefully don't have to go again. Um, next time when I do go on a hiatus though, I will let you guys all know before you guys are thinking like, where, where is she? Why is she not doing her videos? I'll be back guys. It's just, I need time for myself. And I hate doing that. It's just because it is spring. I like to be outside. I like to, I'm a very outdoorsy kind of person. I was raised around farm life. I was raised around cattle and I was raised around being outdoors and not being stuck inside. But every time I'm stuck inside and Tim goes to work and I don't want to always be like, Mom, can you take me this? Can you take me here today? Mom, I would like to go to the mall and do a few errands. But sometimes I want to go do it by myself. And I can't do it. So I know when I get this mobility wheelchair, I think I'm going to finally be back to my normal self. And I'm going to not always have to depend on a lot of people. But anyways, um, I'm literally having a lot of issues with this build. I was uh, looking at a couple old um, photos when I was a little child and trying to look at certain things to put in this house. And a lot of the times is when I'm doing these videos, I'm pausing and I'm stopping and I'm pressing pause and start, pause and start. But then I forget sometimes to, and this is, this is basically me forgetting to start recording again. And lately I have been doing that and I'm sorry about that if a lot of this stuff doesn't look so put together. But I really like the way how everything turned out for this house. And I now can actually say I cannot wait to play in this home. Um, something that I will be doing as a quick video with one of my Sims to show you guys a little bit about that new stuff pack. I know a lot of YouTubers have done it, but I want to do it again. 
but there's just I've just been crazy busy you know it's summertime and I want to go out I want to go have fun I want to go enjoy myself but I can't go out and enjoy myself when I'm stuck inside so starting next week guys I'm probably only going to be able to post two videos in, in, in a single week I'm getting very badly burnt out again and I can't do that I need time for myself and I need to be able to think to myself that this is what who and what I am I also need to enjoy my summer last year I was stuck indoors all summer long and I lost a lot of days in that last summer and I'm not doing that again this year um, so I probably will be posting hopefully on a Monday and then hopefully posting again maybe on a Saturday but these videos are not going to be very long and if I don't post for eight seven days then be prepared for a two-hour video which takes about six hours to post so everything's going to be very speed up because I try to crunch everything together but this home is my dream home this is something that I would love to live in I would love to have a big master suite and be able to walk right through your master closet to your bathroom that's something that I've always dreamed about having but then having it country style and having it the way it was set up I just love it even more um, I'm a sneaker kind of gal. I've always loved sneakers, but I love my I love my Western style boots as well. And that's me being me. That's how I was raised. And there's something is how I was told when I was a kid. So if you don't have your shoes on, you better be outside the door, or you ain't going at all. And that was how my father was. My father was the same way. My father says, uh, kiddo, if you aren't ready in 10 minutes, you ain't going. And that's how I am today. I'm literally like, if your shoes aren't on in 10 minutes, you're going to put them on downstairs before we go out this door. Because I like when things are done quickly, efficiently, and perfectly. But I also know no life is perfect. And I know that I'm not going through any of that perfect perfect kind of life as well but I also know that everyone has their problems and everyone has their issues but this home is the remem remembrance of my brother and of my father who passed away very suddenly in 2006 and I know another year is okay get over your dad's death he's gone well guys it's not that easy my my brother died very more suddenly than my my father but guys if you got to also understand this too is this house is the remembrance of my father and uh, I make a lot of my homes memories when I was a child good memories not bad memories I had some pretty good memories when I was a kid and um, I try to add things that remind me a little bit to this day of how I was raised. And how I was raised was in a loving and caring country style home where everything had to be a certain way or it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be perfect. And when I was when I was quite little, I told my father, I says, Dad, you know nothing's perfect, right? And he looked at me and he told me to shush up child. And sometimes my father was very, very stern. And sometimes I got the smack on my tush because I did something I didn't know I did do. But I know one thing, when my father was alive, he loved us kids deeply. And I know he didn't want to go. But I also know that when he was dying from his cancer so quickly, that he knew he had to go. And to this day, forever, for the rest of my life, I will always love and miss my father. It's never easy to lose a dad, and it's never easy to go forward in your life, trust me. 
I'm trying to hold back the tears because it's like another summer, another winter, another spring, another seeding, another farmers are standing in seeding. All of that is going to remind me of my father. The first day of winter, uh, Remembrance Day, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Those are the days that my those are the kind of holidays my father loved. And when I do a lot of that stuff, I try not to remember it because it brings back a lot of PTSD problems. But that's why I do my videos for you guys. And that's why I built the way I built. So this home is in the remembrance of my father. And this is my home that I've always wanted to live in. And I hope someday I will have something like this because it's a beautiful home when it was done. And um, I literally love the way, way it turned out. It turned out perfectly. It turned out the way I wanted it. I didn't want a big long porch in the back either. I wanted something that you can actually have fa friends and family. Oh, also, you're going to see a lot of things being put in this home scattered outside or whatever those are just add-ons that I was gathering that I think I might eventually want or need so that's one thing I did do that as I did sort of get everything in there but this house isn't yet done yet done and it will not be done and I think that has I'll probably have the second video done by tomorrow probably up by tomorrow but that's it <laughs> like that's totally it I'm not gonna be doing very really many videos for the rest of the summer like spring's run but anyways guys we're getting close to the end of the video i hope you like the video so far hit the like subscribe button down below and if you want to see anything else just let me know i'm probably going to be doing some gameplay hopefully tomorrow for maybe half an hour just to show you guys how it's done but that's about it um i hope you guys stay safe enjoy your spring it's starting to finally be nice where i'm living I'll see you guys later. I'll s bye for now.